Hey y'all, I'm back. I came back to finish my video and I hope that the sound on this video is good. I haven't checked out how the sound works. So, but hopefully it's good and we're going to, I'm going to finish showing you my haul from today. So, I spent $20 on all of this um, and um, there's a couple of pieces I've already thrown into the junk bucket because that's all they were was junk. So, first thing I want to show you is this little, um, this little trinket box, and it is really pretty, and I'm thinking it's silver plated or silver because it was black before I started working on the bottom of it, it was black, solid black. So, uh, I bought that to use for a prop to take pictures on Etsy, so isn't it cute? So... Anyway, I have some really nice pieces in here. Some beautiful rhinestone pieces. And y'all know I love my rhinestones. So, I'll show you these. They're not sod. They are AB earrings. Really pretty. And then this is one of those collar clip things that is almost an exact match but they're just a little bit different around the edges but they have the same kind of ab stones I'm trying to hold them still so it focus in anyway there we go same kind of stones and they too are not signed except for they do say patent pending but they have the little thing here that um has the clips the clips like for, for uh, hanging off of the your sweater so and i showed you these pieces and I'm still looking for a petal for this one of these flowers. Um, this flower right here, I was I'm still looking for a petal for it. So, anyway, let me just see if I can get that to focus. There we go. That's better. Soft pink. And these basket yeah, basket weave clip-on earrings, gold metal. And I have cleaned some of this stuff because some of it was really nasty. So I have cleaned some of it. So those are really cute. Not signed. These here, I clean them and they clean so nice. And they are so beautiful. And they are signed Florenza. And that's a pale purple stone with AB stone surrounding it. And a really nice old fashioned for an earring. They're really cute. Really, really pretty. So, anyway. Um, these are beautiful, too. And that yellow stone has um, ver variations in it. it. It varies in different colors, but it's really pretty. Surrounded by gold there. Clip-on earrings. Very nice. Um... Some really nice enamel earrings that are signed. No, not signed. Just they had verdigris on them, so they got vinegared. So, uh, and the verdigris came right off, and they they're really nice and shiny. And then some more little pink abs. Let's see. I'm gonna have to put my hand behind that. There we go. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Really pretty. Pink with the, the AB coating. These are cute. And they're clip-on earrings. And they're still really dirty. And I'm, I'm just going to have to soak them good. Scrub them good. Anyway. Um, they're, uh, let's see if will it pick up. There. They're an enamel rose. And there's some enamel loss on the tip. So I may have to fix it. And then a red rhinestone in the middle. So in their clips. And these are um, unsigned. Make sure they're unsigned. And they're just a clip on silver tone. And there is a pair. I'm just picking up one of them. These are screw backs. And they're really pretty. And uh, there we go. A blue middle stone with little white stones around it. 
and I actually had to repair one of them was missing a stone some vintage Japanese beaded I think they're probably signed Japan if they're not I would be really shocked but I don't see a sign and then here's another pair that's just like them that has the exact same symbol on the back of them um, this is just a really pretty little clip on leaf earring let's see if I can get that to there we go there we go with some little brilliant cut in the metal a cute little um, silver tone bracelet non it is magnetic so we know it's not silver um, these are really nice they're a leaf with brown beads and they are signed and I don't know if I can make out the signature or not oh wasn't hard they're signed art and I've not cleaned them they do need cleaning really nice really classy looking earrings they'll be perfect for fall uh, I've done showed you that one this is a little brooch beautiful little brooch with um, rhinestones and pearls and I had to replace these two rhinestones and I had them Showed you that and showed you that. These are beautiful and they are signed Coro. And I don't know that that, yeah, it's a really light peach color, clip on gold. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Let's see if I can get my hand up like that. Uh, kind of blends in with my hand, you can't see it. Really pretty. These are interesting. They're plastic. They're door knocker style. Plastic, silver, all plastic clip-ons. I showed them in the preview, I think. Another pair that is very similar. Uh, not quite door knocker style, but real similar. Um, in plastic. 80s. Eight, what I call 80s style earrings. Now these are cool. They're uh, very mod looking to me. They are clip-on, but they have all these little metal things, and they're really pretty, real cute. Uh, a pair of little gold tone clip-on hoops, a little butterfly pendant, a pair of black stud rhinestone earrings. Let's see if I can get that to shine there. Okay, go back the other way. There you go, Cindy. There, you can see that's a rhinestone in there. Um, these may be my favorite pair. And I haven't tried to clean them or anything. They are not signed, but this big black, uh, I don't even know what it is, big black stone with this coating, and then this uh, citrine colored, to, uh, topaz colored stone in a flirty leaf very very pretty and they are clip on and I guess yeah they would clip on like that there that you'd wear like that very 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 pretty um, maybe sandstone or anyway they're copper colored screw backs they're really interesting glittery looking pair of enamel earrings I'm trying to get these here were the ones that had they're the same earring but they one of them has a flat disc on the back and one of them is open and they're it's made like that I thought maybe it broke off but it's made it's got the little rest here but so that is really odd to me makes me wonder I don't know but they are exactly the same earring so really odd uh, a pair of dangles like this really nice 
Uh, I showed you that one. A pair of hammered half hoop clip ons, gold tone. There we go, gold tone. A very interesting bracelet. Let's see. There we go. It is not signed. It has links like that. It has like black splatters of paint on it. But then it also has splatters of the metal color paint on it too. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking that's how it was designed. Because there ain't no way that black splatter paint is coming off. It ain't wasn't added on. It's all baked in. There's no signature on it. Very interesting to me. If anybody knows anything about that, you can tell me. Make me happy. Um, a metal, gold tone metal link bracelet with a safety chain. Very nice. Um, another pair of enamel earrings. I done that really fast, so I'm sorry. There we go. And they are teal blue. And then a set, a ball beaded, and they're plastic beads. And they have the fastener like this, ball color beads, very beautiful. And they have matching clip-on earrings. And I paid three dollars for this set. So very pretty. And y'all know I don't like beads. So I'm going to show y'all one more thing. Remember the other night Sally talked about you can use vinegar to make your rhinestone sparkle if they're not full back. So I had a piece that had that verdigris on it that I cleaned up. So I had to mix up a vinegar mix. And I mix mm, one part vinegar to about 15 parts water and add a little dish soap to it too and anyway so I mixed it up and and I thought well you know I have that one set of that one bracelet that was rhinestones that I got in a lot the other night that they were they weren't dark but they weren't real shiny and so I put them in it so I want to show you what they look like now and I'm trying to get all this stuff back in here. I've got to get it all separated out. So, anyway, but this is what they look like now. Now, let's, let's see if I can get some sparkle to that. Get that to focus in. There, there we go. Very, very sparkly now. Very nice. So I'm interested, I'm going to go through some of my older jewelry that has some uh, rhinestones that are dark and try it with them. So because I know I still have some. So anyway, so I wanted to share that with you guys and I'm going to go and get this edited and put up on YouTube. So thanks guys. Y'all have a wonderful night. Be blessed.